हरिओ स्वामी जी वी गो टू दी फोर्थ एपिसोड अफकोर्स टू गेट आउट ऑफ दी अदरनेस डिस्कशन इज नॉट ईजी बट keeping in line with that you know to also to look at something which is very mundanely spoken on a daily basis everybody is looking for success everybody is uh, talking of success how do we uh, for for a minute if we think of otherness and not connected to success people may think that we are talking of philosophy which is not for us i i want to to you know ask you because success can be defined by each one in his own ways for me getting a car could be success getting a house could be success somebody somebody for else it could be something else getting a padma shri would be success so success can be defined differently but uh, what is that which connects the two the the otherness the uh, you know absence of otherness and success and how it gets aligned to our life uh please yes the moment we hear the word success it is so vast yeah. and it is purely relative as you rightly said a person who is having uh, who is not having anything when he gets more suppose he see somebody is having more possession and he tries to fix the target of achieving that and when he gets that for a moment he may feel i have succeeded i apply for the exam i study well then when the result comes i get distinction it's a success for me i i work hard in my field of profession i get a promotion i get a, a increment it may be termed as success is that success and how did it come to us if we try to know the process by which the labeled success has come to us Hmm. we will know that it is a labeled success because later on we don't stop with that so the then we come to know for normally when for anything to be uh, brought out there are three elements that are required there could be so many but what comes to our mind is the three important predominant factors one is the material cause the second one is the instrumental cause hmm. and third one is the intelligence you are consuming you, know, you have to imagine first god has given us this power to imagine that is how all discoveries inventions innovations have come he pushes us that that power he means not an in, uh, individual not an entity that power pushes us to think in terms of that which is unknown you and i are wearing this specs yeah. when there is no specs in the world how can one conceive? just imagine there is nobody to tell you anything about specs but still that primordial intelligence you know which is a gift of that later on we will find it is inherent in the bijam our source in bhagavad gita he adds this word buddhi buddhi padamasmi i am the intelligence or the intellect that that is why anything and everything it, it where from it has come we used to wonder we used to wonder we were all closely associated with coffee plantation no very much with coffee plantation and management of estate so the coffee coffee is a berry berry on a on a plant okay that was a gift by mother nature by that power but he made somebody to look at it intently and then the berry was plucked dried hulled seed was separated seed was roasted the aroma that was lying dormant it was kindled ah you get that then you get powder then you put it in the uh, 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 filter take a decoction and now when it comes to you in the form of a cup of coffee you now realize where from it has started material cause the seed so many instrument first of all you know you wanted to have a nice drink you know a stimulating drink when somebody says cup of coffee will make you energetic <laughs> if you feel dull have a cup of coffee so this gives you in your mind then you start 
to this intelligent cause and then intelligent cause enables you to convert or make use of the material and the instrument to bring out that to the and when we when it comes in the form of a cup of coffee and then you drink it an inexplicable sense of joy wells up you can call it a success or anything a fullness a pleasant feeling ah, first class no so just if you trace back to the origin of the label the success we think again you know we make it very clear it can uh, these are all different really each one has to do the digging plumbing uh, absolutely reflecting then we may get new nuances but to start with probably we can say these three things are very important at every every uh, for anything cycle, anything any so we should have that intelligence yes, to material give us the once we were seeing this uh, what is it called sand in U youtube sand game or something you know ordinary sand ordinary sand somebody takes it and he puts it in a bottle and there is a camel there is a, a sun there is a so many things so we were react, interacting with ch children we asked a group of uh, plus two students who came there what do you feel uh, ramesh you will be stunned 18 to 20 dimensions came from them so the first thing they said we must have a concept before seeing everything how to how to uh, convert an ordinary sand to a, a creative product so first is that concept and then you have to collect the material correct and in different colors you know so you have to add different colors and then there is a process involved every time and you have to be very alert all those you are building up can go in one minute if you are careless. Because the sand is needed, colors are needed, water is needed, bottle is needed, you know. And right from uh, starting point up to the ending point, you have to be alert. Anything you, you, you pour more water, finish, the whole thing is gone. Correct. You pour a particular colored sand instead of this, again it gets lost. Oh. So then the children told us, you have to be alert throughout, vigil throughout. You should know you, what, 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 what you are aiming at. What you are aiming at. And when, when everything comes out, you can say, success. And then we also learned that this success is not limited to us only. Correct. It is enjoyed, ever sustaining. Absolutely. Uh -huh. So the three things, material, instrumental, and the intelligence. intelligence. If these three are falling in one line, we can say that uh, to a very great action, success is guaranteed. You want to prepare payasam. You must have some idea about what the payasam ultimate should be. Then you try to bring out the material and the yes. necessary vessels or something gladly or something like that, instruments. And at the same time, you are vigilant, constant, uh, what do you call attentive involvement and then what is guiding you you want to reach the pious you know, which is acknowledged tasted and enjoyed by as many people as possible not you are not satisfied by your own correct you under, you unknowingly learn that success to me means it is a success it is a feeling it is a it, it, it is touches and kindles a sense of pleasant feeling in as many minds as possible so even in the success, there is spirituality involved because everything has come. You are, you are, you are totally immersing your uh, immersing yourself into that thought. Yeah. Anything, and in, uh, in philosophically telling, material is provided by him, instruments <laughs> are provided by him, intelligence are provided by him. We can't arrogate. We have done this. We have done that. No, for, so for example, payasam means rice, okay. jaggery, but suppose it is yellow payasam, jaggery, water, and all other appendages. Then the, you need a vessel. 
then you need a ladle to keep on. You need the gas. Uh, and you should know when to put rice, when to put jaggery, when to put, you know, trial and error. So everything, you know, there is a, there is a, a an intel, intelligence is the basic thing which is driving you towards your target, you know. And when you reach the target, you name it as success. Absolutely. Hundred uh, percent. So these for any, for for any success, uh, we we feel then that these three are absolutely necessary. And and it has to be very focused in the sense uh, uh, what absolutely. you are doing is very yeah, important. Absolutely focused. Any diversion. What, uh, what for you are doing is different. So very often uh, people do something to earn money. The focus is probably to earn money, but in the doing, they don't bring in that these three elements. So later, <laughs> on, later, later on, we will also find the so-called selfish activity is also a selfless activity. Now you want to earn money. You are plunging into your business. Okay, your idea is to earn money, but to earn that money, you will uh, you initiate a lot of activities, economic activities. It's which you uh, yourself don't know. Suppose you get, you know, when there was no Unnati, okay. you were an individual, or uh, Ramdas may be an individual, Tara may be an individual, that's all. But when you start Unnati concept developing, now how many people are involved? Think so many. And when they, when they get a footing, when their capacity, purchasing capacity goes up by their earning, they are instrumental in, in, in boosting the business of a, a milkwala. Provision wala, so so That's many good. direct. So you started to have a project to succeed. You are indirectly making so many things, so many people to involve, which is, is a cascading effect. Correct. That would be better. Unknowingly, you may not know that. So when I start a factory with nothing, and I put two, three people, three people, five people, six people, and when it becomes to fifty people. There is, there is a lot of economic activity through so many of people, unknowingly. Correct. So the even the so-called labeled selfish act is reaching out to many people. Why, you know, everything is God's. Uh, everything is His. So correct. we may say it is my factory, <laughs> this is the I am earning. And, and here reminds us, when you came to this world, you got nothing. When you leave this world, you cannot take anything. Yeah. I will allow you to say that it is mine for some time, but, <laughs> but yeah, those, those are all different lines. <laughs> so success purely depends upon these three factors, material cost, instrumental cost, intelligent cost. Super. More yeah. we have to plumb it. Definitely. Any I, I... And ultimately, it leads to this absence of otherness because whatever produce you make, it is going to it is going to benefit others, benefit others. And when when we are prompted to do something, you know, totally self-centered, me to me, then it proves to be contra. Agreed. Suppose we adulterate the quality. Correct. For a moment, I may feel my turnover has gone up, but one day. It will be pointed out by some. We remember, you know, in our good faith, not in bad intention. When the fertilizer, you know, we applied to the uh, for the plantation, it was all independent. Correct. Uh, say nitrogen, phosphates, and potash. These are the basic three ones. So we used to get straight fertilizers, get our soil analyzed, and depending upon the need of the uh, soil, we do 40, 30, 40, 60, 60, 60, 15, 15, 15, like that. Okay. It was difficult. A stage came uh, sometime during the late 60s that uh, we, we should have a complex fertilizer where everything is in it. Oh. Oh. So it was called Sufala Complex Fertilizer, uh, produced by Fertilizer Corporation of India, Government of India unit. And uh, everything was going on. But one planter took a sample of it and got it analyzed later on, after so many years. We were the uh, the authorized dealers in Vayana district. So that's why we were closely associated with it. And then the scientist said it doesn't contain 15, 15, 15. 
immediately he filed a case the managing director who is sitting in delhi you know he had to fly back and then came apologized compensated withdrew the whole slot it could be a clerical mistake some technical mistake factory mistake so the what we mean is the, the alertness of the people the order who has accepted this complex for later for you for the sake of everybody the prompting was given to get it analyzed and made it known and success also will come only when you think of everybody you you don't think of the masses your product will not sell yeah, yeah. so it is obviously interrelated yeah, yeah. interconnected suppose you make a sadhya you will be happy you know suppose you invite so many people the joy you get when everything is served to everybody inexplicable absolutely no? absolutely, absolutely. So, Wait, so somebody is so, getting married one, one person is getting married to another why should we ask so many people to come <laughs> we want that to be shared you know as you say joy, joy because shared because uh, then only you really see enjoy w- wonderful song is i think you know the, the word me to we is resonating a lot yeah. uh, it, it's it's so beautiful and uh, yes we will uh, again delve into it in our next episode yes. in the coming episode this is enjoyable thank you so much you. thank you